Well, you, and you had an interesting intervention in this because you published an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal that got a lot of attention. What it really means to be pro-life, I think, was the title of it. Why that op-ed at this moment? That op-ed, and it was a real honor to be in the Wall Street Journal for that, but w what it was talking about was the importance of pregnancy resource centers. These centers all over the country, there's close to 4,000 of them, and they help pregnant women and they give them life-affirming choices. And this is something, the Knights of Columbus has been so involved with pregnancy resource centers. And so my op-ed was really to, to talk about those pregnancy resource centers and what they do to provide hope for young women, in, often in a, in, a, in a, what can be called a crisis pregnancy, but really to take that crisis and to, to give them hope and to come around them and to, to, to support them with love and to say, no, no, carry your child to term. We will be here for, the, for you. We will be here for your unborn child, but we will also be there for the newborn child. So that was really the, the purpose of my op-ed was really to give them a boost because the people in these pro-life pregnancy centers, they do heroic work. It's amazing how much work they do and how much they continue to need to do. And if the Dobbs decision goes the way that it might, they'll have even more work to do. It strikes me that this is a time for all Catholics to help them, but especially the Knights. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, and and uh, the Knights of Columbus, we have established relationships in so many of these pregnancy centers. But my message today to all our brother Knights and to all our councils is to make contact with your pro-life pregnancy center. Uh, get in touch with them now ask them what they need, and then stay in touch with them over the course of the next few months before the Dobbs decision comes down. Because if Dobbs does what we hope and pray it will do, it's gonna, it's gonna change everything. And, and the Pregnancy Resource Center is really gonna be where the action is, to help that mother and to help that child. Related to this is the Knight's very important ultrasound initiative. And we hit a pretty great mark right around, near the time of the march itself. We placed our 1500th machine. Tell me why this program is so important, so exciting for Knights, and what it was like to place that 1500th machine. You know, it's, it's, it's the most successful program, pro-life program in the history of the Knights of Columbus, and we have saved countless lives through this program. As you say, 1500 ultrasounds in pregnancy centers, and it's, it, it's, it's a great thing. It, we have such enthusiasm for this program precisely because it's very tangible. I mean, when, when you put, when your council puts an ultrasound into a pregnancy center, it's, it's tangible. That mother is seeing her child, she's hearing the heartbeat uh, of her child. And so that's why the program is so important. And, and because it is just, it's a, it's a way for our knights to come around that pregnant woman and to come around her unborn child and to really, help her make that choice.